As a USPA certified polo instructor, nothing is more important than safety. This includes the safety of your horses, in addition to that of your students, and your facility. Safety begins with knowledgeable equine management. It includes keeping the horse's well-being in mind while leading in time. Matching horses appropriately to riders. And having a basic knowledge of equine first aid. Maintaining a well-trained string of school horses in good condition is necessary for your success as a CPI. In order to do their jobs well, your horses require access to salt and to clean drinking water, a high fiber diet and a regular feeding schedule that keeps them within acceptable body condition scoring, routine farriery, veterinary care, vaccinations, dental care, and parasite control, correctly fitting tack in good condition, and a humane work schedule. Current records that include such things as feeding notes, veterinary records, and training details help to ensure your horse's continued well-being. Every person who handles your horses must know how to lead correctly and tie safely. Use only sturdy halters that fit well. If tying a bridled horse, first put on a halter that fits over the bridle and tie only to the halter. Never tie a horse directly to either the bridle or a bit. If you know a horse does not tie well or pulls back, tie in a quiet area using a breakaway tie such as baling twine. Tie short and high using a quick release knot. A tied horse should be able to hold its head normally. All clients and employees must be aware of the kick zone and know how to avoid putting themselves in a dangerous situation. Not every horse will be suitable for each rider. Considering both temperament and training, match each horse's strengths to each rider's needs as completely as possible. It is better to undermount a student on a horse that is too easy to ride rather than overmounting on a horse that requires skills beyond the rider's abilities. Accident prevention is always preferable to damage control. Routinely bandaging all four legs of school horses helps minimize the risk of injury during lessons and chuckers. If, despite your best efforts, an accident should occur, maintain a readily accessible equine first aid kit and know how to use it. At the very least, the well-stocked equine first aid kit should contain a thermometer, gauze and other bandaging material, standing bandages and quilts, antiseptic such as Novelsen or Betadine for cleaning wounds, and wound care antibiotic ointment or spray. All employees must be familiar with the USBA's equine drugs and medications rules. Check with your veterinarian for additional first aid kit suggestions. In addition to basic equine first aid, suggested additional equipment recommended within the USBA equine welfare guidelines includes the Kimsey Leg Saber Splint and the Rescue Glide. Though such specialized first aid equipment can be a great benefit, only people with the proper training should use it. Your horses contribute to your success as a USBA certified polo instructor. Keep them safe with solid equine management practices and proper handling and tying techniques. Match horses with appropriate riders. Bandage horses' legs before lessons and games. And since accidents can happen in spite of the best equine management practices, it is always important to have a well-stocked equine first aid kit and competent staff that is prepared for emergencies before they arise. Remember, safety is the key to the best polo experience possible.